I'm Voxiel and welcome to Dream Engines Nomad Cities, which is a survival city builder with a little bit of a twist where you can actually fly your city, your base around, and there's also a nice bit of combat. So the thing I'm enjoying most about this game is that it has resource management, where you kind of you build your colony, you manage your resources, you automate it, but you also have to balance that with exploration and combat. And when things get a bit too difficult to balance, you always have the option to fly out. But that comes at the cost of fuel, which is very difficult to come by, and restarting your base again, because you can't actually take everything with you. Without further ado, let's get straight to the game. Got a new game. I've learned that I've done this tutorial, so I have a basic understanding of the mechanics, but let's just go into choosing our tribe. You only have access to one tribe if you just bought the game. So you have the Junk Lords, your Dream Weavers, which you have to unlock with 3000 Flux, which is achievable. It takes a little bit of getting it around, but not too difficult. And you also have your Tesla Crats. So let's go back to our Junk Lords. The Junk Lords are the masters of scrap. Where other tribes see only old world garbage and unexceptional blue boxes, they see treasure. Their expertise in finding and making use of every little piece of scrap proves very useful in restoring and maintaining an ancient nomad city. We have a few little buffs, passive buffs for playing the Junk Lords. And we're going to set this onto challenging. So the awesome thing, it gives you a nice explanation of what each mode is. And if you still want to change it a little bit, you can always change these settings here and it'll tell you exactly what's going to happen. So personally, I want to try the game on challenging because this is the way the game is meant to be played. Recommended for players that have already familiarized themselves with the unique systems and controls of this game and are ready for a real challenge, which sounds exactly like me. It's tempting to go hard or dream play, but we'll try and save that for a series after. Maybe if we'll play a different arm tribe, we'll try that out. But disable tutorial, score multiplier of 2010, and let's go to the city given to me during my tutorial, which was Plow Shire. So Plow Shire like this. Make it one name, Plowshire City. Nope, make it some worse. Boom. We're the Junk Lords of Plowshire. I don't know how the game randomly generated that name, but I appreciate it so much. This is the little character that you control who is aptly named Tiny, and like every other character called Tiny, they are most certainly not Tiny. Okay, welcome to Dream Engines. The tutorial is disabled, but the milestones at the top right of the screen, top right of the screen, are there to help guide you. Mouse over a milestone to learn more about it. Remember to press the space key to switch between combat and city management modes. So it's called combat and construction, which is a lot easier. Construction is one word. Then this is the nice balance I love, which is combat and construction at the same time, and it's all real time. Your resources in the top left, your cycle count, which is kind of like your days, your threat level. As your threat level increases, you get attacked by another wave. Your fuel and your ability to take off your city, how much weight you have, how much fuel you have. And this is kind of like the tier of your city, some research and some settings, and your inventory at the bottom. Mini map on the right, with that out of the way, let's unpause the game and get straight into the gameplay. First thing you want to do, go to your city core and equip your um, medkits. So you take them out of your city core, click on 5, and I set them to 5 just because I know I'm not going to accidentally click it. Next thing we want to do is set up somewhere for our food, I mean our houses, sorry, not food. Um, so this, I have kind of have a little idea of how I'm meant to do this. Don't know if this is the best way. But once you have a house, you need to create an output from your city and build it down like this and then make an input so all the food goes into your city. All right, so let's build across and build down. Oh, that's wrong. That is so wrong. Why is that wrong? That's wrong because this isn't needed here. So we have to be trigger happy. Cool. Now that we have the food out of the way, and our housing, let's go and try and find some wood. So generally there's always resources right near you, so just do a little, don't go out too far from your base because you might run into enemies. And we don't, hello? Where are the enemies? Okay, is this set to challenging? It should be. I have never walked that far out of the base without being attacked. And I jinxed it by getting attacked by you guys. Okay, also try not to miss all your attacks. When it comes to attacking, if you're playing on the PC, which I don't know if this game is available anywhere else, right click to use range attacks and you have 10 bullets in a row, and then you left click to use AOE melee attacks. When it comes to health, the game is very forgiving. To passively heal health, just stand on your base. So I'll take a little bit of damage, and once we stand on your little foundation right here, it heals quite quickly. Or you can use a medkit and heal 50 health, which try to avoid using it, they kind of just use it for emergencies. Set up our wood straight away. Oh, we have two sources of wood right next to each other. Well, that's perfect. We'll actually I'd rather set up this one. It's closer, and it has no enemies. Is this unchallenging? Did I not set this? I, I swear, my friends. I kind of know about the construction amount. Hello. 
Oh, whoops, sorry. Oh, no, I've already... Okay, never mind. I've already set this one up. So let's just set this one. We have an output coming out here. The wood should start traveling. Go down this way. Let's figure out where we're going to put this wood. So let's set it up first before we build our buildings. Wood we can build right about here. So let's set up the input for wood. And let's make it go this way. Right, so we want... That's where the wood is going to go, so let's put it right about here. Come here, go into there, then you come this way, go that way, hello? I don't know if that's a smart idea. Is, that, is this working? It is working slowly, awesome. So now that that is set up, we need to go set up our food. So let's kind of create our food. Doesn't really matter where you put our food, I don't think so. Actually, what if I just feed my food straight into my um, houses? Nope, that's, that's silly. So we need some farms. Let's set some farming up right here. I'm pretty sure it's too far, hello, insufficient resources. That's not cool. Okay, it's a bit too long to make farms, I suppose. down here. Can we make you? We can make you. Awesome. Let's put you down here. And let's make the city, this road, this way, this way. Input into here. Output. Input. And let's make another farm. Hopefully we have enough wood by now. We do have enough wood by now. Awesome. Output there. And you need an output over here. Now we have some source of Source of food, go to your resources. You actually have to set this manually. I want to see the wood and I want to see the stone for now. Cool, so the wood's at plus six and it is plus three every time you add another one of these. So, so far plus six is okay. I probably want to disconnect this thing. Oh, actually I can just connect this here and add increase this line. Let's, just, let's do that. No, we don't need to do that. We just need to do this. Let's increase this right here. We cannot. Okay, if you want to extend your little red your building zone right here, I would build one of these things, a Tesla Tower, try and build it some, you cannot move this once you build it, so try and be wary of where you actually put this. I'm fairly comfortable with putting you there, because you're not going to get in my way of anything. So put here, let's have you going out this way, I'll put there, I kind of want to build a fourth one, being completely honest with you. Let's take out my upkeep, but I have quite a bit of upkeep for now. Now they have... So we're going to let our wood stack up. We're going to set you up. While we're here. And we'll just build you over here. And let's just connect you right here. Now that's going to fill up very quickly, but that's okay. Now we want to find some stone. Now that our wood is underway, actually no, we need power before we get stone, otherwise we're going to lose power. Okay, so I'm not going to build anything in this direction, so it's pretty safe to put power right here. Power's at plus one, that's good enough for now. Let's try and hunt down some stone. There's more wood. Okay, that's, that's just getting excessive now. My friends, I need some stone, please, and thank you. Let's build some houses, let these fill up. I don't have enough wood. Awesome. I love that. There's oh, but that okay. This is this start seems almost too good to be true. This is by far the best start I've ever had. Try and use the corners. I'm just gonna fight this out. Oh, not too bad. All right, now I should be able to build you. Enemy nearby. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Awesome, let's get you out of here. Are you going this way? Over here, over here. So stone, uh, no thanks. So stone is what we need to do to build our kind of upgrades for now. So where are we gonna put our stone? We can put it right here. So stone is, which one? Oh no, we need, actually we need vets, we need flux, before I forget. 
This is going to give us flux. It's going to be pretty important. So let's get. Okay, that's going to use a lot of use up a lot of power. So you get another power thing to help deal with that. Now we're using up a bit too much food. Actually, let's work on my stone first. So I need to figure out where you need to go first. So where's stone? Stone worker, E6 wood, so I can afford to build two for now. Let's build you this way. What do you down here? Oops, wrong button. So the input will be at the front, the output will be at the back. And let's put the output to go this way. Let's cut you off here. And the stone can come here and then this way. Okay, so that's where you want to be built. So now let's put you this way. Cool. I'll just, you need to come down one more. Go. Nope. Down one more. Go across now. Actually, no, that's done. Let's go this way. We come across. Input. Input. We're going to go this way. Output. Output. Cool. And then let's go delete up here. Get rid of you. Now we have a stone income. We have a wood income. We have some food. We just need to kind of micromanage this a little bit. Keep expanding our housing. Okay, we're not getting input that fast. Threat level increased by one. Can we keep, a, keep an eye out for some attacks? Okay, do we need more wood? We might need some more of these. That's not getting stacked up there. All right, cool. Now we can add this other wood thing to this line right here. Our wood's at plus 15. Our food is a little bit negative, so let's keep increasing our food. Uh, what are we going to go to? Where are the farms? Okay, the farms are a bit stuck for now, so let's kind of build you somewhere that doesn't get in the way of my buildings. So you look pretty safe. Let's put you right here. This, ne this line needs to go across here, so I can put one there and one there. I need to build you somewhere actually closer. Like there? No, that's going to be stupid. Uh, too late. I'm going to need probably two of them. Oh, wait, that's actually dumb. That kind of cuts you off, doesn't it? One, two and build some more food production, food plant, right here. Cool, so you're getting two food from these two and you're getting two food from these two. The food plant needs an output. There we go. Awesome, energy is at negative 10. That is not a good thing. That is not a good thing at all. Now we don't have enough workers. Okay, why? I think we have too many, too much wood. Let's turn you off. Turn you off. Nine is enough. All right, cool. Let's do a little bit more exploring while we wait. Just kind of let that build up. Whoops. Let's build. Oh, we're really poor when it comes to wood. Now we should be able to turn you back on. Cool, and now we get another house. Awesome. It's just a little bit of a trickle for now. We're gonna need more stone, this is going way too slow. Divisor re resources, what do you mean? Cool, that's enough. I, I wave is coming from this way. Is it gonna kind of yeah, awesome? It's gonna be really awkward if I couldn't get out of that corner. Now the only annoying thing is I haven't explored anywhere near enough to actually know which way. If this wave is gonna come down this way, or it's gonna come from up this way. Let's kind of just poke our head down a bit.
Awesome. Actually, I should have just left this at the house level that it was already at. And just let it gather resources. But, I'm still learning. I feel like I'm, I'm using too much resources to make resources, if that makes sense. Is the right area? Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, no, that's bad. It's going to destroy my stone. I should have just waited at my base instead of trying to explore. Building is under attack. There it is. Attack should help plenty. Alright, that was painful. That was really stupid. Rid of you. Because you're going to take upkeep. We have to come back to you. Build you. Gather some more stone. Alright, so stone, I need to get up to like 150 or something. Like this over here. I want to upgrade you, which is going to cost 125 stone. Which is expensive. She's very expensive. Food is fine. Power is not where I want it to be. Okay, power's at plus five. That's enough. Let's go back to exploring. Spend a little bit of time healing. Expansion plus one, bonus point upgrade plus one. Alright, cool. Third level is now level two. What, what's wrong with you? Oh, wait. No, I'm stupid. Output. The stone's caught up. So that stopping is kind of... Take all of you. All of you. So this is going to be a pretty well defended area. These give you a lot of resources. Huh? Alright, awesome. So we have more wood up here. Destroy you. You. Cool. What do you give me? If we craft, we can get a deployable turret. No thanks. Upgrade kit. Gain one upgrade point. Eh, missable. I really want to get you, but I have no idea how to get feather crystal. Combined with feather stone. Damage. Attack rate. Like, that looks, looks way better. But you're expensive. Let's just go back. Oh, there's more stone up here as well. Awesome. Hey, can we get the stone? No, we are not even close. Cool, not bad. Alright, we'll take that. Okay, you're going to be a little bit expensive to get the stone all the way down, but you're going to be worth it once I get the... Okay, 
so the stone is running at full capacity. It's not even running, it's not running quick enough. Hmm. We can increase our, f our houses. Oh, wait a minute. That's really awkward. Destroy you. Let you pass by. You, you. Uh, go back to my little road up here. Cool, now the food is definitely going to decrease. So I need to increase our food production, which is going to look a little bit awkward. Okay, cool, I need that. Let's build you out here. Move you anywhere that's away. And I'm going to need to increase my farms. Build another two farms. Let's build the road going this way. The road going this way. And let's now build you. Huh? Can't build. Oh, I can't. I can't do that. <gasps> My plan is ruined. Um. Okay. Okay. That's a bit awkward. I can't build there either. I had no idea. Oh no. What if I put you like further away? Right. And then now I have to just have to put you here. Oh no. Oh no, my food. Is there a way to increase this? Like, to maybe I can just put you on this side. I can do that. Okay, the food is increased. Now we just need to have you going. I just need to probably increase this thing down here. Out this way and have you food plant there. Nope, I'm in the same problem I was at before. So have you go in here. Have you stop. Have you just come this way and let's have a gap right here okay that's just really really awkward we're getting attacked now oh not on the side please don't over that side <gasps> my stone lining all the way up back there oh, so the problem is this attack is coming where my stone is this stone is almost guaranteed to just die so I'm actually just gonna probably abandon it and we're going to see how far we can defend up here. Ah, uh, why are you facing that way? Actually, it would have been fairly achievable to just get this defense all the way up here. It's not even attacking my stone. That's perfect. Running. Awesome. Trade my health to keep it alive. Hey. So the reason you don't want towers is towers take your upkeep of flux. And I don't really want to have my upkeep of flux being taken. How's my stone going? It's only at 75. Okay, this is just really awkward, my friends. Three's not enough by the looks of it. And the population is going fine. We should actually have research by now. I wasn't terrible at the game. But I am terrible at the game, I'm sorry. Is research actually important? Because I just used a lot of stone, which I potentially didn't need to use. 
No, it is important. I need a workshop. Workshop. We need also you and you and you. Okay, so we can get some upgrade points. So for now, wood is going okay. My power is not going okay. Cool, we fixed that. Do we need more wood? We don't think we need more wood. We're producing wood fine. What we're not producing is flux because we're not having you. What do you use? You use maintenance and upkeep. Okay. So we just need to do this. So all that is only moving up to 36. What? You just produce four per second, four, four per however long that takes. So what's eating, what eats flux? Just produce power. Let the, um, what? No. No, you just make that. You, you use flux. Oh, I see. So research is actually not as important if you need flux. So if I turn you off, say for a second, this is up to 46. Oh, I see, says the blind man. And all of a sudden I have eight population. So you shouldn't be really doing any research until you have a lot of flux, potentially. How do I do this? Messenger process, processing and then process remains. All right, I am still absolutely, completely blundering this so horribly. So for now, let's just, just go in and get rid of all these people. What if I turn off my stone production and my wood production? Because it's got all these people on it. Like if it's full, why would I need to turn it on? Like that, that's the real question. Like this thing over here. My wood is maxed out. Like look at it. Look at this. I don't need both of you on right now, do I? Turn you off, right? Same for stone. I have enough stone being supplied by one person. I don't need two on. Like you, you. I need more stone than wood. The main thing, I want to get this upgrade. I feel like it's good. Production speed. That is. That seems important. So you produce. You produce fifty. Oh my gosh. Uh, fuel capacity, flux capacity, sorry, worker capacity. You just need 350 and 125 stone. So I pretty much just need the weight. And not even weight, I just need to build like some of these. Where's my flux? My flux generators over here. Just to make sure I don't um, block off the walkway, which I'm kind of doing. Aha! Uh -huh. I was kind of holding, I was just being cheap. Because that just uses people and power, and I have a lot of power. I don't have that much people, but I have a lot of power. Because I'm not, I turned both of you, oh no, you should be off. You're off. Oh, okay, 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 I'm starting to see now. Let's turn you on. Okay, threat level four. All right, so I made a mistake getting the research. Having us at a town is good enough for now. Research production plus 20%. Okay, maybe I should expand, but for now, I think we should just stay at a town. Get to the 300, get to the 125, upgrade our actual town center. What do, what do you call this thing? This thing in here. Our city core, upgrade the city core, and then we can start to, look, to do some other stuff. Because we're going to produce our capacity, 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 cart speed is faster. Fuel cost is, wait, what? What do you mean plus 30%? Carry weight, increased production speed. Okay. What do you cost? Yuck. I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna say yuck. Okay, awesome. I'm feeling a little bit better. Just a tiny bit. Reducing food fast enough. You're not even getting any food, friends. 
Oh, so it's more than two to one. You, you, we have what? One, two, three. Interesting. So I can do this then. I can have like you going this way. Cause I just need to get this production line past here. I haven't even used you yet. Like two of you. Is, okay, so it's what? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it four to one? Is there a way to check how much you produce? Doesn't really give me a time. It says plus three, and you do. You give eighteen food per eighteen of this. What? I can't change you yet either. Okay, you're a bit expensive to upgrade. Are you expensive to upgrade? Where's my friend? You are fairly cheap. Production speed increased. So is upkeep and workers. I don't know if that's worth it. You're at plus ninety five, which I enjoy. Oh, and I'm I'm just I don't know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing, but I'm still learning. Oh, you're plus twenty five. Oh, that's a nice increase. Aha, uh -huh, now that that's done, this is not as expensive. Because you use plus 10. So you can use that. Oh, I see, says the blind man, you know? I'm getting it. I'm, I, I don't know if I, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm learning. I'm new, this is new, okay? Um, I feel like now's a good time. We have 16 population, yeah, now's a good time to expand. What I want to do is just let's just um gather resources. Let's just gather some flux. Let's save up flux. I'm getting to the point where I think flux is going to be important because I can build a chart. I can build a cart here and not actually connect the buildings. Nothing will happen. Like it's not going to get attacked or anything. And it shouldn't be too hard to get to my wood income. Yeah, actually, I take that back. It's a little bit far from my wood. Which is not the greatest thing in the world, but you are easy to get to my wood. Okay, now that you're starting to catch up, let's turn you back on. Now let's add a third one. I feel like we're producing wood fast enough. Ow, 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 ow. I'm sorry. Don't do it. What do we need to fix you? Structure under attack, right? It's cool. That's right. All right, I'm gonna end this episode here. We're doing, I feel like this is the best I've ever done. I've done tutorial a few times, or just once actually, and then I've tried to play the game just to learn some basics. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I bit off too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was cocky. I take it back. Forgive me. Okay. Okay. We're, we're ending the episode. No. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna survive this raid, and then we're gonna end the episode. Um, I want to try and passively heal as much as I can. Let's assume that we're going to need you eventually, right? You, you it's, it's a pretty safe thing to assume. Put you here. Let's keep passively healing. There's no way you don't come down this way, right? Surely. Surely. Is there a way I, I predict this wrong? We're using a lot of power. Let's turn you two on. Right, we should now be able to afford... What, what, what's your problem? Hello? What's your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your issue, sir? What's your concern? Oh, you're turned off. Perfect. Problem solved. How's our research going? It's going. Awesome. Power's still at plus eight, and we still gotta prepare to get this, um, our little defense. Where are we defending? I don't see any cutoffs. There, there's, there's one right there. We can't build that one. Nice, nice, nice. I'm sorry. Hey, got him, my friends. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Attack me, attack me. Go for me. Can we double the? Can we double this? Alright, shoot them. 
Shoot at my minions. Shoot faster. Hey, perfect. That's a pretty awesome place to end the episode. So I don't want to. How much do you cost to build? You cost twenty to build, right, and you cost maintenance one per second. All right, we're definitely getting rid of you. It's not efficient to build. All right, so that's an awesome place to end. So we are on threat level five. We have set up a nice little start. We've upgraded our little base. I'm still learning how to play the game, apparently. Um, and it looks like we have nothing in negative. So how do I pause the game? Hey, there we go. Pause. Figured it out. Anyways, that's the first episode of Dream Engines, um, Nomad Cities. Yeah, it's, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm definitely going to keep playing. Normally, I just kind of stop after the first couple of tries just to kind of get like a feel of the game. But this time, I want to make a series. It's, it's awesome. Um, I love the mix between... Uh, managing resources and fighting and also trying to explore and figure out like, what do you need what don't you need and it looks like i'm kind of getting through tier one and i'm enjoying i'm, I'm keen i want to play i'll keep playing um so foxy on out it's gonna be the end of this episode so far thanks for watching come uh, leave any comments and you know let me know what you think of the game if you have the game if you don't have the game if you want to get the game i'd recommend getting it give it a try it's um just been released and it's still on sale i think i uh, no, don't quote me don't quote me don't quote me i'm sorry sorry i'm sorry i'm not sorry this game's awesome all right see ya